everyone! What is good? It's Silver Hyena back again with a new video. What I am doing today, I am breaking out the good old acrylic paint again. And what I am painting, I am super excited about. A phone case! Something other than a journal! I know, right? Well, you see, recently I had picked myself up a new phone because I have been working my butt off and deserve nice things. However, I just could not find a case with a design that I really, really wanted. So, I need to make my own. That's, there, there's no, no other way about it. I just gotta make my own, which means I need to prep my surface. So this is an otter box, which these nice, good, sleek protection. Okay, I was just reading the box right there, but like, you know, it's, when, when you spend a bundle on a phone, you wanna protect that bad boy. So we've got an otter box and this, like, see that, that is nice, that is hard. That's not going to be busting up, so first things first, get your artist tape. And I had thought about painting it all the way around, yeah, I'm, I'm, but I just don't want to, yeah, I'm not sure if it would be such a good idea to, because I'm, I don't want the paint getting into this, in, in, into the areas that are gonna be touching the phone, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna paint around that area, so. First thing, you wanna block off everywhere you don't want paint getting into. Easier said than done. Oh, and in case you were wondering, the case, I picked it up at Best Buy, in case you were wondering. Alright, now that the case is all ready to go, now comes the part that... <sighs> this was a $50 phone case, so I just paid $50 for a clear plastic case that I wrapped up in tape and I'm about to scratch the bejeezies out of, so... Here goes nothing. So much for scratch resistant! But the reason why we do this is to give the paint something to hold on to. Now then I'm gonna start with this clear gesso, which I've used it before. Gotta let this baby dry. So here are those new brushes I picked up. Oh yeah, this should be nice. Looking forward to trying this out. All right, so I got my... Oh, no, you know what, I don't think I need the palette paper quite yet. I think I could just get away with some gesso. Like, I don't want to overdo the gesso. And <laughs> yep, because that's where I need it. On my hand. Don't we all? Oh wow, I love that. So much easier than all those really, really tiny, irritating strokes that I did the first time. When I, when I painted my, my watercolor palette, it was really frustrating because I did not have a nice big brush that could just power through the strokes effortless, ugh, effortlessly. Now that I do not want all that gesso just clumping up in there in the camera lens hole. So I'm going to need to lift that out. I'm going to 
it's like I still need some gesso in there. And I hope that it hasn't already gotten in there. I taped it off. Hang on, I need to get a paper towel real quick. Okay, yeah, my silly self did not seal that particularly well. Good thing nobody's really going to be looking at this side of the case. So I might just let that dry the way it is. <laughs> not going to worry about that. Okay, I might just add a teeny bit more to the main area that people are going to be paying attention to. All right, now that the gesso has been applied, next step, let it dry. So I will see you all in a bit. What's gonna be several hours for me, is gonna be but mere seconds for you, so. Alrighty, so the gesso is dry. It's got a nice gritty texture, so that'll be great for letting the paint cling to it. Excellent, excellent. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to that. I'm gonna do the background portion first because, well, usually with acrylic, it's, I, I know that so far I've done main subject first, then background, but I'm, get, I'm gonna try background first, then main subject. Hopefully this doesn't turn around to bite me in the butt, but if anything else, I'll have to chip away the paint and start over. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Okay, so the case itself is more than dry. Even just like this, it's actually really pretty. But, of course, I want to do more. So, while that was dry, drying, I had sketched this up. Just as kind of a basic idea of what I want to do, subject to some tweaks. Because, obviously, that sketch is a lot bigger than the phone case, so I gotta shrink it down and kinda tweak it where need be. So I brought out my Faber Castell Gold Faber White and a white Prismacolor color race. So I'm gonna see how well these work and hope it shows up on camera. If not, um, uh, I'll, I'll have to get to that later, I guess, because honestly, I don't know. So uh, mostly it's placing where these things should go. All right. Well, let's see if I regret this or not. Okay, yeah, that is like hardly showing up. Gold Faber is showing up a little bit better, but I don't think that's going to work. Okay, I didn't want to use one of my thicker white pens, so I'm going to see if I can sketch this out with the gel pen, and my table is just getting too small and too cramped, and I don't have room to move, which is driving me nuts. Okay, well at least that white gel pen is showing up there pretty good. And I won't be too worried about any scribbles or anything because, well, the, the paint will cover that up. Okay, so I am just gonna 
speed things up for now and I'll see you when the sketch is done. Okay, so got that down and my tablet did something back there. Now then, while not perfect, I think I wanted the beak to be a bit longer, but I might see what I can do when I add the paint. Yeah. This is this is what I prefer with pencil. Yeah, I might push some of this back. I'll, I'll see how it goes but overall I think it turned out pretty good and I might make it a bit stiffer and spikier up here but again that's all stuff I can do when I start up with the paint itself so I need to let this dry just so that I don't have it all congealing and getting icky and mixing in and bleh. so See you in a bit. Alrighty. Now what I'm gonna do first is I want to put down a layer of white just because given a prior experience with yellow, when I put yellow on a dark surface it didn't really want to show up all that well. Now that I'm not sure if that's just because it was those bright neon yellows or if it's just because yellow and dark surfaces do not mix. So, first things first, I'm going to put a layer of white down. So let's get to that. Alrighty, now that this has had a chance to dry, it's time to add the color. Now, I've spoken about the ugly duckling phase with acrylic painting before. Well, this piece is a testament as to why it's important to just stick it out and work with it. Yes, sometimes giving up and scrapping the project may be easier, but I am glad I worked with this piece. I really am. What I had in my head, what I had in my sketchbook, and what appeared on the phone case were all completely different things. Honestly, it was the tiny details that were really killing me. Luckily, I picked up a little something in between filming segments that, in my opinion, saved this piece. Okay, so right now where this stands, um... I'm not exactly thrilled with it, but I am hoping that I can salvage this. <sighs> one thing I had picked up was yet another paintbrush. This one, it is absolutely tiny. And one of the things I was struggling with was getting in those small, tiny details. So, I'm hoping that this baby will save the day. We'll see. Anyways, let's get to it. This was a testament to my patience, but dang am I glad I invested in that tiny brush. That tiny brush made all the difference. Anyone who knows Zapdos knows that Zapdos has all those wonderful spiky feathers. I was originally having trouble with getting those fine points with the brushes that I had currently. Thankfully, not anymore. Now then, a fun little tidbit. Since I'm painting Zapdos, 
I thought I'd share the tale of why I chose Team Instinct in Pokemon Go. So I was unable to play when the game first came out in 2016. My phone at the time wasn't able to handle such an intense game, but I was learning about it through my friends. Anyways, skip ahead to September of 2017. My friend Alan and I were at the Puyallup Fair having a good time, and he was playing Pokemon Go. Well, we ended up chatting with another Pokemon fan, and Alan and this guy just began tearing into Team Instinct, calling them the loser team, useless, etc. Just laughing and kind of being jerks. Now, my friend Pebbles chose Instinct, and I kind of liked what Team Instinct stood for. So I just piped in, just for that, when I get a phone that can handle Pokemon Go, I will pick Team Instinct just to spite you. I was giving Alan the I mean it look. He didn't think I was serious. A few days later, I finally upgraded to a much nicer phone that could handle Pokemon Go. As soon as I was able, I joined with Team Instinct. A short while later, I messaged Alan, letting him know that I could finally jump on the Pokemon Go bandwagon. Of course, Alan asks, You joined Team Valor, right? I answer, What? No! I chose Team Instinct, just like I said I would. Yep, there you have it. Originally, it was just to kind of spite my friend. Don't worry, we're cool. But overall, even without my friend and without that guy bashing Team Instinct, I probably would have joined with Leader Spark anyways. I just like the message of love and trust for your Pokemon over the hardcore power of Team Valor or the cold analytics of Team Mystic. And, of course, I display my Instinct pride with Instinct shirts, jewelry, my Instinct hoodie, even a license plate border on my car. Yeah, I went that far. And I still gotta put my Instinct decal on my car, I just need to wash it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> As of this moment, I'm a member of the Level 40 Club and have multiple maxed out Pokémon, including my pride and joy, a 100% Togekiss. I also have quite the collection of shiny and lucky Pokémon. Sorry, sorry, a bit of humble bragging, I do apologize. Also, between the three legendary birds, Zapdos is the greatest of the three when you compare the stats. May the Lord of Lightning reign supreme. Okay, and here is the finished piece. I have sprayed it with multiple coats of fixative because since this is going to be a functional piece of art, I don't want it getting all scratched and banged up, so it's safe to handle. Here's what it looks like underneath. I tried to get as much of a paint and some residue that managed to get on in here off, but you know, what can you do? So yeah, there we go. While I may have struggled with this in some places, okay, a lot of places, I'll admit, I am very happy with the end results. So now I have my own unique special phone case and there's not another one like it in the world. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's video. 
please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Post below. Are you Team Instinct, Team Valor, or Team Mystic? I'm curious. I gotta know. Team Instinct forever! Stay creative, everybody.